Show the difference between painted, wet sanded, and buffed. Buffing is where you take a, a rubbing compound. This is my favorite. This is a lot of people's favorites. Where you, it's not like a wax. You don't apply it and it makes it shiny. You apply it and it sands it much finer than this sanding. So this is how the paint came out from the paint can. This is how it turns out after you wet sand it to smooth down this nasty orange peel. Then once you've wet sanded it, you bring the polishing compound and that's what it's done there. So it will always look like that when I clean the car now. Then what you do is you take a polishing compound uh, to get rid of any of the marks the rubbing compound could have made. Uh, so then you polish it and then you wax it so it'll look even fancier than this. But if you look at the difference, this one hasn't been wet sanded very much. You can see there's still a lot of orange peel. Part of the problem with plastic as well, it just generally always has more orange peel for whatever reason. Um, but I can wet sand it down and make that a glass if I wanted to or a glass smooth. But there it is again, uh, rubbing compound, untreated, unsanded, that's how it came out. If you look at the reflection of the white versus the reflection of the, well, you can see it's a door there, whereas here it's, it's, a, it's a blur, and then here there's of course no reflection, and that's because it was wet sanded and uh, wiped off. Uh, so that's the difference. And then again, it'll look even better than this once it's completed, but there's the difference. Ta -da. And here it is after being polished. So now it's been buffed and polished, and you can see the haze is gone um, from where there used to be haze. I don't know if it'll show up or if it's obvious. Oh, look at me, I'm pregnant. Um, not really, though. Stupid reflection. Now it's too reflective. Point is, uh, paint is done. Looks fantastic. There's no more rust all along the edge where there was before. The ding is completely gone from down there, the big gouge. There's it's funny, there's a, there's a big dent there, but that, I don't know what the heck that's from. Anyway, the badge will cover that, hope, hopefully. The uh, other completely gouged piece that was down here um, is all fixed up. I sanded that and filled it and sanded it and primed it and sanded it and filled it and blah, blah, blah. Um, I did get a run. That wasn't perfect. There's the run right, right there. But that can be fixed as well. Never went number one way to fix that is put some body filler over it. Really, really, really light skim of body filler and uh, sand that down. That way the body filler saves the paint as you're getting rid of the drip. And then once you've gone uh, through the body filler, it means you've got to the main level of the paint and your drip is gone. Best way to do it. But yeah, I'm really happy. 30 bucks for the uh, uh, spray can of paint. As you can see, I had just enough. I actually did the inside all the way along the side of the trunk. Um, to fix up other issues that were there from the guy who painted it last. And that's it. So get the badge on, get the plate on, and put the spoiler on. The spoiler is going to hide the edge. The edge of the new paint versus the old paint. Sure, it's hard to see, but it's there. That might be it. That might be polished. Let me just see if I can... There. Yeah, I can't see that with my eyes, but it's there. And that's that. Look at that. Look at all the scratches. Um, that can be polished out more, but again, you just don't see this. Beautiful, beautiful color. And a mess.